It is being renamed as the Violet King Henry Plaza. Alberta honoring a trailblazer Friday. The provincial government renaming a plaza near the legislature in honor of Violet King Henry, the first black person to earn a law degree in Alberta back in 1953, and the first black woman to practice law in Canada. Gives life to her story so that generations after us will know who she is and understand her contributions. But I do know how many stories I've heard of work that she did and how it touched whole families and generations of families. Violet's daughter was thrilled with the honor, adding that her mother's determination and decency were evident from an early age, which she initially couldn't afford to university. Somebody at, at their church put up, the, put up the money for my mom to go to her first semester of college, and then my mom gave piano lessons and paid her back every single penny of that and then put herself through college. And while King passed away in 1982, her inspirational legacy lives on. The way she modeled... Um, Building confidence in your decision making and the idea that you can do whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be. And she modeled that in so many ways for me. Violet King has been a hidden figure in Canada. Henry's family initially moved from the U.S. to Calgary, her childhood home still standing today, before she moved on to law at the U of A. Her determination, a family trait. Her family came as black pioneers in the 1910. Her, her father was with the sleeping car porters. And her brother, Ted King, was with the uh, Alberta Association for the Advancement of Colored People. And Henry regularly had a biting response to those who said that a black woman should steer clear of the legal profession. People told me, um, as a woman, I shouldn't become a lawyer, and especially as a black woman. So I went ahead anyway. Her career would reach rare heights in several fields, ultimately leading to her being named the first female senior manager at the U.S. YMCA. The courage, the determination is an example for all of us. Henry's daughter has followed in her mother's footsteps, striving to make the world a better place. And she knows that her mom would still be fighting if she were around today. You know, I think she would have been looking for ways to champion women maintaining their economic options in the face of something like COVID. In Edmonton, Cordy Terrio, City News.